Hey Alec here. If you have just finished a web developer bootcamp on Udemy and you're wondering how to start your career, well, I'm one of those guys who actually succeeded after the web developer bootcamp. Got a job, ended up freelancing, and now I'm charging like $85 an hour for my time. And today I just want to make this quick video to share with you my advice, what I think should be the right things that you should do after you finish the course. Uh, I made a bit of mistakes and hopefully this video is going to help you avoid them and give you a better quick start on you know what to do after that so you start making as much money as possible or get that job as fast as possible if you want to if that's what you want um before that i want to show you something absolutely amazing you've been like staring at it the whole time but like we are actually at the, at the filming of this video this is like march 20 and this is what canada looks like it's like this is crazy like uh there's still snow like everywhere like i know pretty much all around the world it's already like uh <laughs> probably like looking more like summer than winter but like yeah this is what spring looks like in canada this is a, this is a really crazy crazy country um you know sometimes we were shoveling this winter and we like you know look, look at this look at this guy like this is so high like literally like this is probably like 14 feet high this guy probably can't even like shovel his snow that high like it's 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 getting like really crazy here like we had a crazy winter with, with a lot of snow but like anyway like this is crazy um so when you want to start your career a as a uh, developer after the unimi boot camp the first thing i tried is i tried to start freelancing right away i tried finding clients on upwork i tried um, doing a lot of uh, networking events. I tried meeting a lot of people. I tried uh, asking my uh, friends on Facebook for referrals and a bunch of different things that people try. And all of that, I haven't been successful trying to find clients right away. Uh, so first of all, my best advice for you, I think freelancing is amazing, but just starting to try freelancing right away after the bootcamp, after the course, for me, it hasn't worked. I'm not saying it's not going to work for you, but I believe knowing what I know now about freelancing, knowing what I know that allows me to charge like up to $115 an hour, I don't believe even if you can succeed easily at finding clients, I don't believe you're going to be able to make a lot of money if you go into freelance right away. And so for me, this, you know, I don't know if you were expecting this advice, but I'm going to tell you, you shouldn't like go freelancing right away. What I did instead, I went to get my first job. And what's also going to surprise you is that I'm here to tell you that that was also a mistake. Pretty like pretty weird, right? So this video is about telling you that no, you shouldn't go freelancing right away. And you shouldn't go get a job right away. But, you know, I know this is like a little bit counterintuitive, but I think there's a better way to start your career. Not that both these methods can't work or that they're like that bad, but like I think there's something better that you can do. First of all, when it comes to freelancing, the reason I don't think you should do it is basically like if you see all these people on Upwork, people like... Every, every time you hear about Upwork, usually you hear about these people who tell you that it doesn't work. It's a scam. It's like shit. It, it, like you get paid shit. And I think for a lot of people, the problem is that because you get out of, you know, either college or just a Udemy courses on uh, development, all you've learned is development. You don't know yet how to handle clients. You don't know how to do the business side of, side of freelancing. And I think because you don't have that knowledge, it's going to be very difficult to get started and, you know, make a lot of money with it because it's kind of like a business, right? You need to know how to find clients. You need to know how to talk to them, how to do proposals, how to do contracts. You need a basic understanding of the laws and a bunch of different things. And you don't have that from your Udemy course. And at the same time, I don't think you should just go get a job. Listen, I've talked in a lot of my recent videos about, you know, the fact that when you don't have a degree, a lot of jobs and a lot of different companies are harder to get. And, you know, everyone, everyone knows that. 
I've also talked about the fact that when you don't have a degree, a lot of people will want to pay you less than other developers. And a lot of people will also demand more things of you or take advantage of you because, you know, once they hire you, they know that, you know, you don't have another option. You know, they, they know that you think in your head that you have to keep that job no matter what, because if you get laid off, what are you going to do? Are you going to be lucky enough to find another job like quick or, you know, they know you don't want to go back to working at grocery stores and, you know, normal minimum wage jobs. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be real. I don't think like, you know, even if you get laid off, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. I don't think it's going to be the last job you're going to get. And I don't think like you have to be incredibly lucky to get even one job in web development. But what I know is that it can take you months and weeks to get your first job and get your second job after your first job. And, and you know, unless you have a good set of experience, it can be difficult, right? So for someone starting out with no degree, going directly to getting jobs is could be difficult, could take time. And I know that because I get a lot of comments. I get a lot of people commenting on my videos that, you know, They've started trying to, you know, they've learned on Udemy, they've learned online, they're self-taught, and now they're trying to find uh, their first job. And, you know, these people have been commenting on my comments for months now, and they, you know, sometimes I talk back to them and they still haven't found a job. You know, it's, even though, like, web development is in demand, it doesn't mean it's easy to get a job when you don't have a degree. However, um, I, I'm not. I'm also not a fan of free work. If you think about your alternatives, if like going to freelance right away, if getting a job right away, or both, like not ideal. Um, I'm not a fan of working for free. I know you can like get get free work pretty easily and like get experience there and go get your first job through that experience, and that can work. But I'm not a fan of working of working for free, and I know it can take a, b- a bunch of time to build that experience. And through that, it's kind of a nightmare. Like you have to work for free, and maybe you love like the thing that you're gonna code. Maybe you love the company you're gonna be working with, but still, you're gonna have to work for free and work in another at another place at the same time to pay your fucking rent while you're you know getting the experience for the other job. And I don't think that's the option either. And what I think is that for all people who don't have a degree. I think freelancing is the best place to get started. And I know I just told you like, don't don't go freelancing right away. And the reason I don't like, I'm going to tell you my story. I'm going to tell you what happened and why I've been able to re to find success as a freelancer pretty quickly. And, uh, despite the fact that I don't have a degree and had very little experience, okay, why I've been able to find someone who was willing to pay me $51 and five cents, like pretty much in just a couple of months after I've learned web development. And that's what that's like, I'm saying months because, you know, in the, in between like that, I've spent like months in my first job. So really realistically took me only a few like weeks before I got my first client who, uh, was paying me $51 and uh, five cents an hour. And the reason it's been so quick is because I've learned how to find clients. Actually, like, there's no light here. Like, it's ridiculous. You're probably not seeing me at all. So I'm just going to move back to the other street. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh, kind of lost my train of thought, uh, of thought there. Yeah. So for me, uh, when I started freelancing, as I told you, uh, Right after I finished the boot camp, I started trying to freelance on Upwork, networking events, and asking fa- Facebook friends. Didn't find success, right? And afterward, what I did is I went and found a job. And it was, honestly, it was like a shitty job. Didn't get paid a lot, didn't get paid as much as I deserved, and they, they were taking advantage of me and the fact that I didn't have a degree and the fact that I was afraid to lose that job because I was afraid that if I lost that job, I wouldn't have other opportunities. And deep down, I had already failed freelancing, so I kind of lost uh, belief that I could succeed in, in that. But what I realized is that while I was there, I saw that, you know, well, when you're working at, a, at, a, at an agency, 
you're building websites for different companies. And at some point you just realize that, hey, for us to be able to build websites, someone has to find the clients for the company. Someone has to find these companies that are going to be hiring the agency that you're working at to, you know, give us the, 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 the website to work on, to, to give us jobs, basically. And so I started looking at what my boss was doing and I started looking at how he was finding clients for the company. And I realized, first of all, I was doing it all wrong when I was trying to find clients. And second of all, that it wasn't really that hard. And so I started like asking him questions. I started like looking at how he sent emails, looking at how he talked with clients, both on the phone and in person. And I started talking about, I started looking at how he built his proposals, how he decided which clients to contact and which type of companies to contact, which type of companies not to contact. I started asking him a lot of questions. And I basically like learned through both looking at him and asking him questions, his method of finding clients. And I also looked at his proposals because one one time, you know, it was like this rich guy and like rich guys go on vacation with their family, like crazy vacations that are really long. And once uh, he went for, I think, one or two weeks away and with his son and he needed people to, you know, meet with our clients. And he had proposals that we had to present to clients. And so he left one to me and he said, you know, like, go meet this uh, business on X street, on X date. And like, he basically briefed me on what to say, how to present the proposal and everything. And I started looking at the proposal and I was like, oh my God, these people, he's offering them our services at $85 an hour basically the whole project he was offering was just like web development services that I knew I was going to be doing uh, because it was like my project and I knew he was paying me $18 an hour which is you know kind of fair but he was charging $85 an hour for, for, for these hours I was going to be working to our clients so basically what that means is that I was getting paid less than a quarter of what the companies that was that, that were hiring our agency were paying. So my boss was keeping the other three quarters. And at that point, I realized, hey, I've just learned how my boss finds his clients. Why should I stay there and let him keep, you know, taking three quarters of the worth that the, the job I'm doing? So what I did is I just went and used the same strategy that he's been using to find my own clients. I figured now that I don't know how to do it, if I do the exact same thing he does, I should theoretically be able to find my own clients. And if I succeeded, I'd be able to make four times as much money because, you know, I wouldn't be giving him like the three quarters that he was keeping because he was only paying me 18 and keeping like uh, the rest of the 85. And so at that point, I was able to find my first client by sending less than 10 emails. And the reason I succeeded is because when I started with this method, instead of just when I started out freelance, trying to freelance right after the boot camp, you know, I didn't know how to do it. I never seen like anyone, no one had just showed me how to find clients, how to freelance, how to do the proposals, how to speak with clients, none of that. But now after I learned these things, which I learned like very quickly and like, you know, after I've learned that, all of a sudden I've been able to find my first client by sending less than 10 emails and that person, like you were still like losing the light and that person paid me $51.05 an hour. So that was a huge increase. That was more than twice what I used to be making at that guy. And that was still not 85, the 85 that his clients used to pay him like on average. But like that was still a crazy upgrade for me. And I was shocked at how easy it had been for me to find that client. And knowing how much, you know, how easy it can be to find clients and how much more it can pay uh, than normal jobs, I can't tell you, tell you guys. Sorry, I dropped the phone there. Knowing that, I can't tell you guys go get jobs because I think that you'd have a much better life for most of you, for pretty much the, the vast majority of you, if you decided to freelance. However, if you go freelance right away and you don't know how to do it, I don't know how much success you're going to get, honestly. So what I think you should do is just go 
learn how to freelance. For me, I've learned it by finding someone who was good at it and get him to teach me and learn from him. But I realize a lot of you, like, maybe you can't. Maybe you can't find someone who's going to show you that. And so there are other ways of learning it. And so what I'm going to do is next week, I'm going to start a series of videos where I'm going to share with you my methods of finding clients. I'm going to show you how I do it. And if you're watching this video, like, way in the future, like, maybe weeks, months, uh, I don't want you to, uh, you know... I don't want you to have to go through my channel to search these videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link uh, the playlist of the videos is going to start next week where I'm going to teach you how I find clients and what you need to know to quick start your career as a freelance developer uh, in the description. So you're going to be able to check the description and click on the link uh, to the playlist there. Uh, with that said, uh, I'll see you soon. And I wish that you are having a wonderful spring and you don't have to live in this crazy, a crazy country like this where you have to shovel like snow over 14 feet high. Like this is crazy. <laughs> anyway, wish you good night. Uh, wish that uh, these videos that are come out, coming out next week are going to help you and as many of you as possible. And with that, I'll see you soon. Take care.